Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've got for you a product empties video. So the bin is pretty full. When the bin gets full, means I need to start filming. If you hear my baby, I apologize. <laughs> but uh, she's kind of fighting her nap right now. You moms, you understand. Anyway, so I'm gonna try to go through these quickly because I tend to ramble on. I don't want this to be super long, which I tend to do, like I'm doing right now. Anyway, let's get right into the items. First off, we've got three bubble baths from Bath & Body Works. We've got Moonline Path, we've got Mad About You, and we've got Sweet Pea. Really enjoy these. They make lots of bubbles in my big tub. Um, I really enjoy them. I have quite a bit of them, and I got two more for Christmas <laughs> waiting, so we'll keep using them. Absolutely adore them. I'm glad I've gone through three because I opened tons of bottles, and I have Tons of balls open and I never I don't finish them quick enough. So I finished three. Happy about it. Love them. Two hairsprays. So again, more of this Mark Anthony Argan Oil um, Morocco hairspray. Extra hold. I really enjoy this. Uh, you've already seen me talk about this a ton. Um, they're not sticky, but they hold really well. And it doesn't... It doesn't smell super strong, like if I used to use a Tresemme one, which I really still will enjoy when I need extra, extra hold, I'm using my Tresemme uh, hairspray, but this is for my everyday, absolutely adore this, gone through two, going through another bottle right now, love them. Also gone through two soaps, so these are both Lavender Blossoms from Bath & Body Work. Uh, this one is the self-foaming one, this one's just a regular one. Now, I find these you get so much more for your money a lot of people like the self foaming ones i don't personally I just don't like the foam on my hands i just like to lather it myself i find you don't spend enough time kind of lathering and really scrubbing your hands when you've got self foaming soap but also because i find this one's a waste of money we went through this super quickly versus i think this took maybe a month to go through this took like six maybe more to go through because not because we washed our hands less, because we use less than this. This uses a ton more. And let me see how... And this actually has more in it. This is 8.75 fluid ounces. This is 8 fluid ounces. And we use less of this than we did of this. This went w way quicker. So this is not worth the money compared to this one. My recommendation is this one. Alright, I went through two of them. I'm about to finish another one of these in my other bathroom. But uh, I really enjoy these. The two packs of wipes. Um, these are the Quo Mini Eye Makeup Remover Pads. They're okay. I really like, actually, three pads. <laughs> three of them. I really like these Marcel ones. These are my go-to. They remove my eye makeup. Not waterproof. It will remove some water of the waterproof, but not all. This is not a waterproof eye makeup remover. It's actually just regular. Uh, but I really enjoy these, which by the way, they just came out with uh, waterproof ones, which I just bought and I'm going to test soon. But uh, I enjoy these a lot. But I decided to try these cool ones because if they're, they're cheap and they're a bit more travel friendly than this container. They don't do as good of a job. They're decent. If I'm really, you know, in need and I need something and oh, I forgot my remover pads or whatever if I'm traveling, I may use this. Um... They're, they're okay. They're just okay. They didn't impress me, blew my socks off like these do. These are really, really good. So, finished both of those. And I also finished the Marcel, um, the face ones. These are actually really nice. Um, they worked really well. I don't use wipes to take off my makeup on the daily. I use them, um, I stayed at my parents for about a week and I use them during that time. So, that's, I, i rather travel with wipes than the liquid micellar water, so I this is when I use this up. They were good. I would buy, I would repurchase them if I needed them for a trip and I had anything else. Definitely. Definitely. For Curl Defining Styling Cream. Really enjoy this product. Um, haven't bought another one because I'm using the, oh my god, what's it called? The Bubble... Oh my god. I cannot think of the item, the brand right now, but I'm using another cream which I don't like as much than this, so maybe afterwards I'll be going back, <laughs> but I really enjoy this, it's done, it does great wonders for my curly hair and it helps them curl and keep the curl, so this is definitely a good one if you have curly hair. 
I finished a Dove Gentle Exfoli Exfoliating Body Wash. This is the, like, the large bottle. Um, I really enjoyed this one. This is my favorite. I've been using it forever and I love the smell. Oh, it just smells so fresh and clean and with a little hint of something sweet in there. I don't know. It's really, really nice. Um, I can't think of it. And it does actually moisturize my skin. I'm using another one. I decided to try different scents from this. So that's what I'm using right now. But I finished this one and I uh, really like it. We'll keep buying it. This is my go-to moisturizing body wash. I also did two masks, which I'm surprised that's all I've done this month. <laughs> uh, or in this... Actually, that's more than a month. <laughs> when you think about it. Okay, this has been, I think, since November, beginning of November, this box, maybe more, maybe October. So I'm surprised I've only used two sheet masks, um, which usually I use a lot more than this. But this one is the Nourishing and Repairing Mask from Sephora, the avoca avocado one, and this is the Lotus one. This is a moisturizing and soothing. I enjoy these. I like doing them. I find them relaxing. So I went through two this time. I am getting rid of my Real Techniques sponge. I've had it for a long time. It's kind of falling apart on the top. It's not as soft as it used to be. It's just, it's time to get a new one. Um, I actually really enjoy my Lori sponge that I got from the dollar store better than this. But because this one's so old, I want to give it another shot. I want to get another one and I want to compare it. Because this one is quite old, actually longer than I, I kept it longer than I should have. So getting rid of it, gonna buy a new one, gonna test it out again. Bioderma. So I have two micellar bioderma. I've got a small one and I've got a, I think this is the medium size one. Um, this one's for sensitive skin. This one's for regular. I really like this. This is my go-to micellar water. Um, I have, right now I'm using a big one of this one. I haven't really noticed a huge difference with the sensitive skin one. It doesn't dry out my skin or anything like that. It says for dehydrated sensitive skin. So but I haven't noticed a difference between the two, really. I'm using this one now, and it hasn't really changed my skin. Probably because I have a good routine and a good uh, moisturizing routine. So, I mean, I'm going to keep buying it. I really love it, and I've gone through these two, and uh, you'll probably see more in the future. <laughs> mascaras. You always have mascaras and product empties. It's the beauty item that we all go through first. So first off, I've got two of the Lacombe Hypnose Drama Mascara. I really adore this. I love how my lashes look when I use it. Um, I like that it smells like lilac. It's not too uh, perfumey, but it smells like lilac. It does wonders for my eyelashes. It lasts a long time and I really enjoy this mascara. So I've used two of these samples. I think I have another one that I can still use. Um, so I've enjoyed this and I've gone through both of them. They've been used and loved and gone. Then I have the YSL Mascara Vanille Couture. This one I didn't use all the way through. I'm just getting rid of it. I didn't like it. It's way too perfumey. Didn't do much for my lashes. It was wet. It was... I didn't like it that much. So I decided, you know what? I've used it enough to decide that I want to get rid of it. And that's what samples are for, right? You try it. You see if you like it. If you don't, bye-bye. And that's what I'm doing. This one is going, bye-bye. I've got one of my favorite formulas here, which is the um, Clinique High Impact Mascara. I use this dry to the bone. <laughs> There's nothing left in here, so time to get rid of it. Um, and I have a sample size that I'm using right now, and I have another full size waiting for me. So definitely going to be a repurchase, and it has been a repurchase. Um, and I really enjoy this mascara. Another one is the Benefit Bad gal lash i've actually quite enjoyed this this surprised me because it has a huge brush and usually i'm not a fan of these big brushes like this but i really like what this did for my eyelashes it really curled them and it was really easy and i didn't expect to like it because i don't like the other one the the real one the roll lash is one of my favorite formulas but it has a very very different one than this so i didn't think i would like this but it's dry now and I've used it all up and I really enjoy this. I, I would consider buying a full size at some point once I'm really in need of mascara. I might actually uh, try the full size. Do they still sell it? I don't remember seeing it. I'll have a look. I've gone through another one of my favorite forever 
hand cream. This one is an Elite Cranberry. This is the um, La Chatelaine hand cream made in France. It is 20% shea butter. It's moisturizing. I really like squeeze everything out of these tubes. I have another one that I'm almost done. I love these. My favorite hand cream of all time. Um, I've got a video all about them um, that I can link down below when I talked into my December favorites, I believe. Um, if you want to know more about these, definitely recommend them. Finished off a sample size of the Makeup Forever Fist and Mix a Setting Spray. I really enjoy this. It actually does hold very well. I don't need another one right now, so I'm not going to repurchase, but I would uh, definitely consider repurchasing this maybe on a small size. Um, it actually holds really, really well, so I oh, really enjoy that. This is the Sesh Beat uh, Fast Dry Top Coat, and you can see there's still a bunch in it. But I find this one, you never finish the bottle before it goes bad. It gets like thick and a little sticky, um, so I always have to get rid of it. And I buy in, I buy some at, uh, I find them at um, Winners or Marshalls. Uh, I find there because it's cheaper. It's like six ninety nine compared to some places where they sell it for ninety nine. I've seen it eleven ninety nine. So um, I don't mind getting the one because I really really like this. But um, it's one of my favorite top coats. It just goes bad quickly before you even get through half the bottle. Finished my favorite um, eye primer. Another one. This is the Julep Black Canvas Mattifying Eye Primer. I really like this. My only place on my face that's oily are my eyelids, so this does mattify. It takes away any redness and it helps my eyeshadow pop and also last a long time. So this is definitely my holy grail um, eye primer. Fab Facial Radiance Pads, the Exfoliate Tone and Brighten. Absolutely adore these. Um, I'm not a huge exfoliator. I have um, like a I don't like like big scrubby ones so this is really nice on my skin I use this regularly in my routine I have two more of these little tubs waiting for me right now I'm trying out the L'Oreal ones which they're not bad either we'll talk about them once I'm done which I'm almost done um, that tub but I really enjoy these I will keep reusing them they're part of my routine quite quite enjoy these a lot I've got three sample size of um, face primers. The first one is the Too Faced Hangover RX one. I've actually really, really enjoyed this. This sample made me fall in love with it, so I did purchase the full size one at the 20% sale. Uh, I really like it. It nourishes, it moisturizes, makes my makeup last a little longer. I really, really enjoy and go on nicely. So I really enjoyed this. Then I have the Makeup Forever Step 1. And this one is in the hydrating primer. Also, really like this. Um, I think I would, I would repurchase this in a bigger size. I definitely would. When a day where I feel where I need more hydration than the Hangover RX, this would be a good one to you. So I enjoy this, and I would repurchase. I would. Then I have an Hourglass Mineral Veil. You're probably like, it doesn't look empty. It is not. And unfortunately, it was forgotten in my stash, and I'm so sad about it because these suckers are expensive, and this sample size can last for a while, but it's gone bad. It just, it just smells really bad, so I'm like, I'm not even going to put that back on my face. I have another one that I hadn't opened, so I will be using that one. Um, I like it. It's, it's a little silicone-y, not too much. It's just not my favorite type of primer, um, but I still like it. Uh, I won't. I will not purchase the full size or the sample, the smaller size. I won't, but I will use a sample of it for sure. Ooh, Pure Lease. This is a SPF uh, Essential Daily Moisturizer. Absolutely adore this. This is my favorite moisturizer that I put under my makeup for the day because it has got SPF 30, and really really enjoy this unfortunately i had to use it up before it expired i have another tube um, that i'll be using this summer um, i got these in i think it was top box or lux box these are expensive in canada 70 dollars for the bottle absolutely crazy so glad i got them in a the subscription box because i will not purchase it i would because it's my favorite but i won't pay 70 bucks for this unfortunately it just won't it's too expensive I'll use other ones before I use this, but it's still my favorite. Hopefully I'll receive some more samples of it, I, I hope, because I really, really like it, but I won't spend 70 bucks on it.
sorry. Eyeliner. Well, this is the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Gel Pencil. So I really enjoyed this pencil. I like how skinny it is. I find it's, it's really good for precise uh, work and for tight lining. The problem with this is it completely dried up. It made me a liar. That's what it just did. Huh. I tried applying this the other day and it was all dry. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. See? Okay, I wasn't a liar. <laughs> Is drying out. It's come. It come. It came off in chunks. So it made a mess, and I tried to use it with chunks, and not really working really well. So I just decided to get rid of it. So that's what I did. This is the last item. It is a sample size of the Estee Edit, the Pink Peony Overnight Water Pack. So this is was a. Um, it's really a mask for nighttime. It. I used the whole thing up. And honestly, I was trying to use this. I was like, please be done. Please be done. I didn't like it. Yes, it says a water mask. Feels too much like water on my skin. And honestly, I'm like, what's the point? Yes, in my head, it doesn't make sense because hydration, you only need, you know, water. <laughs> so I figured, oh, it'll be great. My skin didn't like it. It wasn't enough hydration. My skin needed more. Like I put this on, it's like, whoosh, it'd be gone already. And I'm like, oh, it's still dry. Don't like it. So it wasn't enough for my skin. What I'm using now with the Clinique stuff it works perfect for my skin. This, fortunately, didn't work for me. Use the sample, won't buy it. Meh. That's it guys, sorry if it was so long, um, but I did go through quite a few products and I'd like to share them with you. Let me know down below if there's anything you'd like a more extensive review on, or if you like this video, thumbs it up please. Um, please give uh, me a subscribe as well, that would be awesome, I'd love to have you back um, for more videos. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later.